Hey, welcome back to Garbeardia. So, you guys aren't used to these, I understand that, but before I got into this whole gig, I was a model, reviewer, and painter. My other channel, um, it's kind of a bit left behind, it's not nearly as big as this one is, and um, I've, had, I've, had, I've had projects backing up and backing up, but I keep forgetting to have the other channel, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to post them here. It's more content you guys can watch. You may find it interesting because a lot of you guys on this channel are war gamers or role playing gaming. You can you might be able to use these models and you might like what I get sent to review. So it's a bit different than what you're used to, but this is just uh, a model review. And I decided I'm, I, I got a bunch of models from James I have to review, and I figured why not make the first video of model review on the ch on the channel as the frog with massive tatas. So uh, without further ado, here is one of James's models from the uh, Neckbeardia model page, whose name I believe is Krakia. And there's two versions: there's Krakia with no jubblies and Krakia with jubblies so yeah so here's the model uh, prime these all come printed in resin that I printed off myself on a 3d printer and they all come in resin and when it's primed you can better see the uh, the curvature of the model and what am I doing oh okay that's right I was forgot it's very very late in the evening when I recorded this <laughs> but yeah so this is crackia there's two versions. There is the model with jubblies and without jubblies. You can have your reptilian Argonian made frog properly reptilian without, you know, the chesticles. So you, you have that option, so, which is kind of nice, I think. If you notice, there, there, there are three spears there. And when you go over to the, ne the next video, there's no, there's only two spears because I broke them off because <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> I always drop these models. So this is where I begin putting on layers of paint. Basically, you get your darkest color, you you get it nice and thin, and you just start applying coats. It's quite simple. But the biggest thing is doing it in thin layers and doing multiple layers. That way you get a nice clear coat on it. So I got the skin done, I block in the feathers, pretty simple stuff. Um, the video is sped up, so you guys are going to watch me paint this model for two hours, so got to condense it down, you know how it is. Now here's where I start a rather advanced technique of dry brushing. Um, if you notice, I have a big plush dry brush, and rigid dry brushes are, they flick paint. But these poofy dry brushes from um, Artist Opus and the advanced dry brush set from Army Painter allow you to more appropriately layer on these highlights. And you get the brush, you know, dry brush ready with paint. And you just simply build up your layers and it creates a airbrush type effect as best as one can get with a brush with just the simplicity of application but if you watch i just start building up the highlight layers and they and you just got back and forth back and forth slowly build them up to where you want them because when you have the dry brush properly loaded with paint you can get the appropriate uh highlights quite quickly and easily and you can control just how much paint's going on there so you can see on the skin just how the highlights pop. Now the now the recesses have their dark color. The highlights are now highlighted without having harsh edges. It's all nice and smooth and that kind of stuff. And it's not just a one layer. I go through multiple colors here, building up those layers. You got the dark green on bottom with the uh, rest of the layers just being built up. And this is how it works. This is how I do it. Once the brightest color is down, you can see how, like, you know, certain certain features pop better now with those highlights. But 
I just keep working over, over, all of, over the body, the thighs, the hips, the butt cheeks, the chest, the lips, the face ridges, everything. I get them nice and glowing so the highlights are appropriate. Easy to do. And you can see how, you know, everything's nicely shaded. There's no harsh edges. There's no need for edge highlighting. It's just simply done. Then I get some blue. I start starting to build up. See, you see how it builds up much slower on these feathers because it's a dark color on a light color. You can kind of see how the layers build up a bit better. But uh, there's a special blue tropical feather I wanted to replicate. So a base coat of yellow. I'm highlighting in blue, or sorry, dry brushing in blue. And you can see how this, these brushes let, allow you to get those, those gradients a lot easier. There's no need to really fuss with hardcore edge highlighting or blending. So overall, how do I judge the model? It's very fun. It's a very, very fun model. Lots of textures, lots of materials. It's actually quite fun to paint. The feathers are fun. The, the rock was a bit frustrating because there's a lot of rock behind the hand and I didn't see that quite in time. Should have painted that. Like, so when you're doing this model, paint the rock behind the hands first then do your base coat for the, for the flesh. But yeah, it's a really fun model. It's really fun to paint. Um, it's going to be an absolute stunner on the table. Your opponents will not be ready to see the frog babe on the table, let me tell you. But yeah, so you, you can get these from uh, Nick Beardia's uh, model website along with many other pinups. I will paint the other pinups as well. But this one, I mean, it's really fun. It's very technical. The back muscles, you got to get the ink in there. Highlight them butt cheeks, that chest cleft. You have the spears, the, like the stone heads of the spears are really good to practice your dry brushing on. The bone, the, the, um, the shells, the brambles, the branches, the tree trunk. The, I mean, so many textures. And then you got the leather on her, her bindings. You have the little like uh, shin guards. I, I, I painted them copper myself. If you want to go double fancy, you could actually put the the paint inside those grooves, make them glow if you want to. But I want to do like a like an advanced paint job, not nothing too fucking stupid with this. But yeah, so if you enjoy models and want to have a little sexy frog girl on your desktop, stop by the Neckbeardy uh, merch uh, web portal and pick you up Crackia, the um, Swamp Garunda pinup, and I'll see you guys next time. In the next video coming up.